there was a musical group that was involved in a movie, a documentary, about them, of course, and it was called Stop Making Sense. A lot of musicians and songwriters take that advice to heart. So many songs elude rational explanation. They hover on the boundaries of meaning and absurdity. They resemble organized thought the way a banshee mimics an accountant. If you stop to examine them, as we instinctively rarely do, they're either completely meaningless, or they will skitter around an idea and seem to hint at some vague shape of a meaning, only to dart off in other unrelated directions. Some songs claim to be, or are said to be, profound, deep, and they may well be, and if they are, they are far too deep for me. I could start listing songs, some very popular and famous ones, and songs that I like a great deal, even though I have no idea what they're about. I don't think about that when I hear them, I just follow mindlessly along, led by the Pied Piper of music. Yeah, I could make a list, a long list, an endless list, but I don't think I need to do it, because I think everyone has a long list of their own, of songs they like to hear, even though they have no clear idea what they mean. Maybe it's true that songs don't mean. They're not obliged to do that. They have another kind of purpose, usually to move the spirit, rather than contact the brain. If I complain about this to anyone, that I don't understand this or that song, the reply is usually the same. It's my fault. The song is actually very easy to understand. But the song is written in code. You just have to know what the writer of the song is referring to, and then suddenly the door swings open and you understand. You get it. Very often, if you don't know what a song is about, it's about drugs. The imagery is dreamy or psychedelic or hallucinatory, and the words or metaphors are describing certain chemicals or plants and their effects on the user. In fact, the entire structure of the lyrics to the song is meant to evoke the dreamlike state created when you take the drug. So if you are confused by a song, it's because you aren't hip to the drug culture. The song is high, and you are not. Or, the song could be about love. The singer is recalling a certain special love they once had. And all kinds of feelings may be fixed, mixed up in this. Of love, of course, primarily, but also sadness, joy, excitement, regret, anger, shyness, betrayal, any number of things all churned up together and so farewell coherence. You don't understand because you weren't there and did not know this exact person, but if you chill a bit and relax and get that it's a love song, hey, love and music are the universal languages. And if you still don't get it, then you're some kind of freaking robot living on autopilot and you've never been in love. The same could be said about the meaning of life. It's a big subject to tackle in a song. We all know that life is a mystery, so it's no wonder that the lyrics are confusing. You take on the meaning of existence and you're going to stretch the dimensions of vocabulary and common everyday experience. If you want to understand the song, you have to open your mind and be willing to live in the mystery. You don't expect music like this to read like an article in a magazine in a dentist's waiting room. If it doesn't add up, hang in there. It's not supposed to. Another possibility is that the songwriter had no interest in creating anything that would conform to reason. He's sick of reason. Reason, to him or her, is a joke or a mask, a disguise, and they're not going to play that game. They did toss in a few words that rhyme, and you can struggle to connect them further, if you want, but that's your concern. The musician is using words like an abstract artist uses paint, just tossing them about. If you think they make sense or not, that's up to you. As for the singer, she's trying to sound good. That's her main concern, her only concern. What the hell she's singing, really, she couldn't care less about that. Only how it sounds. The sound is the meaning of it. Don't you get that? 